Okay, so let's use the standard error to try and find the probability of an event occurring by chance. Um, the rule is, if you know the population standard deviation, whoops, If you know the population standard deviation, then you use it, and you can assume you've got a normal distribution, and you can use appendix A to find probabilities. In this case, we know the population standard deviation, so we're going to use it. And the question is, in the population, say we know that people eat pizza 50 times a year, on average, and the standard deviation is 10. We have a random sample of 25 people who eat pizza on average 52 times a year, and the question is, what's the probability of getting a random sample of 25 people that eat pizza at least 52 times a year if the population mean is 50. So to figure out this problem, the first thing that we have to do is calculate the standard error using this formula. And we find the standard error is 2. Next thing we do, since we know the population standard deviation and we're going to be using the uh, appendix A to find probabilities, this is a z-score problem. So the next thing we do is we calculate a z-score. z equals the difference between these two means. That's the top. And the denominator is the standard error. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. So that's our z value. If we were to draw a graph, we're looking for this area right here. Here's the population mean. Here's the sample mean. What is this area, the area beyond uh, z, beyond the z value of 1? So. We look in Appendix A, and we find a z value of 1. And we see that the area beyond z is 0.1587. And then we wrap words around our result. The probability of getting a sample mean of 52 when the population mean is 50, by chance, and the sample size is 25, is 15.87%, or 15.87% of sample means of n equals 25 would be expected to have uh, sample means of 52 or higher when the population mean is 50. That's how we use Appendix A to calculate a probability.